We are live. I am a little groggy. I'm not gonna lie, I just woke up. <laughs> just woke up. Definitely, definitely not feeling it. <laughs> definitely not fully awake right now. All right. So, hi. Welcome back, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Children of all ages now since... I took the 18 plus off my fucking Twitch. Welcome. We're back. With more of the Sly Collection. And we're heading to Sly Cooper 2. Where we last left off. I'm trying to remember because it was like two weeks ago. Where we last left off. We defeated the Contessa. Uh. Forced Nia into hiding. Nia? Nia? No. What's her name? Nila. Right? I think that's what we're doing. Yeah, Force Neil into Highland. And, and fucking clear Carmelita's good name. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. We didn't clear Carmel Carmelita's good name. Never mind. Fuck. That's the opposite of what we did. Neela now has more clout. And Carmelita's on the run. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Trying to remember. Now we find ourselves in the cold, cold wilderness of, uh, I have no idea where the fuck we are at in this game. What is it? Is it... Are we in Canada? I think we're in Canada now. I think we're in Montreal. I'm not sure. Or Quebec or something. Whatever. We find ourselves in the cold winter forest. With John Basson. The caveman. Gone full on crime lord. As he... As he goes crazy and he yells, Damn these trees! Right? Select button for me you. Load game. He who tames the iron horse chest, that is where we left off at it. If I believe so. You know? And I do believe so. Alright. Why can't I choose Murray? What's going on with that? That's weird. What do I have? Do I have anything? I have, I'm broke as shit, aren't I? Silent operation. Ooh. Yes, I would love that. I would love- I am so broke. <laughs> I have no money for that. Alright, Sly. Get on out there with your bat. What the fuck? <laughs> Sly was having like a- <laughs> He was having like a heart attack or something. I don't know what he just did. Had a little seizure. All right. Let's see. Is there? A, I'm hearing the fucking clue. Oh, there it is. God, it's been, it's been two weeks since we played Sly, and fucking, I'm already. What? What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for here? I guess lost. I feel like I have no. I have like no aim, you know. I also feel like the camera angle isn't high enough. <laughs> but I'll get used to it. Got my trusty paraglider. That's nice. I love that. That's beautiful. A little beautiful paragliding bastard. Sly's the best trash bandit out there. We love him. We love him. We wish for him to come back. Come back home safely. Maybe one day we'll get it. Maybe one day we'll get the Sly 5 that we all want. Everybody loves Sly. There's no way you can't love Sly. It's so... It's so timeless. It actually is pretty fucking timeless. These games hold up pretty goddamn well. Honestly, I... Like, honestly, if, if the, uh... <clears throat> if someone said, hey, would you want them to remake Sly 1, 2, 3? Or get a new Sly 5? I honestly would go for a new Sly 5, because I don't think 1, 2, and 3 needs to be remade. They they play pretty fucking well. Now I'm gonna steal this guy's money. Please have something super valuable in your pockets, please. I got Topaz. I guess that's cool. Did you hear that? You heard that, didn't you? You son of a bitch. You little quacking bastard. Alright. Mr. Moosey got something for me. Scoutmaster Rupus! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit. 
And so it begins. So it begins the fuckery. Oh, that was pretty easy to escape from them. Can I jump on this? Yes, I can. Turn around. Turn around, big boy. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, you got something in your pockets. I want it. You got some. <gasps> oh, okay, that was the train. I just saw a light. I became a deer in the headlights. I got freaked out. Come on. I can't wait for when I'm able to move and steal at the same time. I got a large gold bar. That better be the most valuable thing in the goddamn world. Oh, I thought you had something in your pockets. Damn it. Alright. Alright, now it's enough goofing around. Where the fuck do I gotta go? <laughs> Stop being goofy, Sly. On your... Disney Channel shit. Hey, my name is Sly, and welcome to Disney Channel. You're watching Disney Channel, whatever the fuck they used to do. <laughs> Remember when they used to do that shit? They have a little magic pixie stick or whatever the fuck. Draw the Disney Channel logo. Mickey Mouse logo. They're like, hey, I'm, I'm fucking... Oh, shit. <laughs> Whack-a-mole. They're like, hey... I'm fucking what's his face from Even Stevens, and you're watching Disney Channel. Bump, 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 bump. That's what they used to do all the goddamn time. Why the fuck do I always talk about Disney on these goddamn streams? I default to Disney. Like the rest of the world should. All right, Bentley. You didn't have to tell me to raid his files. I could have just gone and look for them. That's a little overkill, don't you think? Your rock wall. That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Vassant took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. I got so weirded out when Bentley said lean back. <laughs> I started thinking about <laughs> I started thinking about the song. He said, now lean back. Come on. Lean back. What's up? Now do the rock away. What the fuck? Sit down. Little mole man coming out the ground with dynamite in his hand. He's coming out, he's all like kaboom! Like what you doing? Jackpot what you doing, my friend? That's Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork party. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio again. Salutations, uh, Mr. Oh, Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One I'm trying to route my uh my pathway. I don't I don't know what to do. First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For second, when you gonna give me a look see at that clockwork brain of yours? Motherfucker. You cover us troubled by motherfucking robotic bird for your own. It stripped me of all my earthly pleasures. Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuff them in my three trophy bass. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the blimp. Although, when I arrive to pick up the Northern Lights battery, I might be persuaded. Why did you hear that? Besides hidden the iron horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Head for the fish 
on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. For the fish on top of the By oh the shit. Way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes. Giddy up into Perry. Look how fucking happy Sly is. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice, Bentley. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Being near the dude scares the shit out of me already. Can you just like hear how fucking fake Arpeggio is? You again. How many times do I gotta teach you this lesson? Alright, where are we going? Bentley! Over there. Wait, what? Oh, shit! That was a cheap shot. Oh, well, there's a bear. He's such a cute grizzly bear out in the wild. Hey there, buddy! Want to be my friend? Oh! <laughs> Winnie the Pooh lied to me. They told me that bears were cute and cuddly. And all they wanted was a smackle of honey. Alright. Moving on. I gotta go up here, right? Oh, shit. I saw the light. I thought it was the train coming. He's gonna turn around. He's gonna turn on me. Come on! What is that, a ruby? You're damn right it's a ruby. It's sexy, it's delicious. Alright. Time to get going. Take that with me. Don't move. What you got? Medium nugget? You got a mick nugget? Oh, fucking duck ass. Into the fire with thee. Gonna have some peak and duck. Oh shit. There you go. Where's that other bottle? I'm hearing it. It's taunting me. Oh, there you are. Alright, I assume I don't have to sneak around in here. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. What do I have? What is this? What's this tornado looking shit? Oh wait, that's for um silent operation, I think. These are passives. Um L2. R1. It's been a while, so I couldn't remember what I actually had. Hyah! Into the fire! You should be cleansed by the fire. The righteousness. Sly, what the hell are you doing? See, nothing to it. Here's where the safe is, though. Thank you, don't mind if I do. I will take that. It's lovely. Alright. Guess I can start fucking things up, right? Make a little bit of money. Kinda need it. Kinda need it, you know? Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot of coins. Come on, hit the book. Hit the books. Like it was school. Alright. Just trying to make some easy money. See, we got 400. I mean, if I want, I can just, like, keep coming 
back in here and uh and start grinding it out like it was Legend of Zelda or some shit. You know the room with the rubies and all the pots. You smash them. All right. Where is that bottle? Cause I hear it. It's taunting me. It won't let me. Won't let me live in peace. You guys got something in your pockets? No? Nothing worthwhile? Alright. Hey Breezy, how's it going? Oh, there's the bottle. It's beautiful. My fucking nose itches. I'm like a bitch. Alright, where are we going? That way? That way. Look at that moose. Look at that moose, that fucking Canadian ass moose. Got nothing worthwhile in his pockets. Just chump change. I can beat the train! No, I can't. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna steal from you because I can. I heard a bottle. Where is it? Is it below me? You can't fool me, I heard you. Where are you? There's one over there. I'm still here in a bottle. Where the hell? Oh, there you are. Oh shit! Uh... Huh. Wait for the train to go by. God, my nose itches like crazy tonight. You see nothing! Can you slide? Get up there, please. Thank you. Alright. Now where the hell was I going? To that log cabin? Yup. Got it. I'll spread my wings, and I'll fly away. That's not flying. It's falling. What style? There's some crazy ass looking bear traps. They're all vibrating super harshly. Oh, it's a bottle. I can't say no to that. Wow, it makes me sound like a raging alcoholic. Maybe Sly is an alcoholic, and we don't know yet. I mean, he has to be in his 20s, right? I feel like he's in his 20s. Like the map design and the scenery? I think we're in Canada. I'm pretty sure we're in Canada. Oh, Sly, what the hell? Mm. Oh, I thought this... <gasps> <laughs> Never mind. I was like, I thought this was solid water. Solid water? Did I just say that? My bad. <laughs> solid water? That's not possible. Water's not a solid, it's a liquid. But the real question is, is water wet? Now you think about that. <laughs> you think about you think about what you've done. But yeah, I think we're in Canada. Can't really remember. If we're not in Canada, we're probably like, no, yeah, we're in Canada. We have to be. Oh fuck. We have to be in Canada. Fucking Molman. Excuse me, coming through. Gotta go get that last blueprint, don't you know? The last trophy bath is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention. Tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my hidden blueprints. Everyone stay. Exceptional work, Sly. That's the last of the blueprints. Well, I only provide exceptional, Bentley. And I'm out. Almost like I was never there to begin with. Because I wasn't. And if anybody tells you 
anybody tells you otherwise, then they're wrong. It wasn't me. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. All right, top of the mountain. Excuse me, coming through. Got anything in your pocket? Yes, you do. You got something valuable in there, and I want it. It's not mine, but I want it. Oh, come on. What is that, a diamond? What do you got? Sapphire. Oh shit. There you go. Nothing to it. Oh, look at this. Just free treasure sitting here. I want it. Get that treasure there. I want it. Damn it. I wanted it. It was right there. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the spice clear, gas? Did you just I'll say spice gas? Jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. I thought spice was like this world's version of drugs. Bentley, are you telling me to go into the sky to get high? Is that what you're telling me? You're telling me to go in the sky. Wait, actually. Bentley. How much does this, since I'm here, how much does this stuff sell for? Oh, okay, I see. Still not enough to get anything. I want the silent operation. I want that. Hover pack. Oh, extend your jumps by hovering in the air. That would be nice for Bentley. Health extractor. All right. Nothing but Sly missions. I'm not complaining. It is called Sly, after all. Or we can call it by its... <laughs> call it like the Sonic game, Sonic and his shitty friends. <laughs> I never get why, like... After... I'll, I'll never get why they made, like, Sonic friends slower. Like, the cool thing about them was that they had extra shit to do. I like Knuckles. Knuckles is cool. It's hard to not like Knuckles. Alright. Now where the hell am I going? Well, first of all, I want that fucking treasure and you can't stop me. I'm going to get it. I'm gonna get it. You robbed me of my opportunity. Now I have to make my own. Because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Oh shit! Yeah. I feel so awkward to do. Now, where's the hideout? Hideout's over there, right? <laughs> oh, I thought it would be on a timer. Never mind. I love you, paraglider. 
You're my favorite. Don't tell any of my other children. You know, if I ever have children one day, I'm definitely gonna have a favorite. There's no way that's not happening. There's no way that's not happening. <laughs> Alright, Bentley. What the- oh shit, my bad. Bentley, how much does that sell for? Ooh. I should go pick up those treasures more. <laughs> he said, oof. Hey, listen. Listen, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's kind of like, um, all right, hold on, let me explain myself, right? I feel like when, um, you know, whenever, I feel like every parent has a favorite, you know? They just don't say it, because, you know, I love all my children, but it's just like how when you see someone with a baby, they go, oh, what a cute baby, knowing damn well that babies are ugly as shit. <laughs> And they're gonna be even uglier when they grow up until they reach their like 20s or something and then they finally even out <laughs> don't let the rest of my children catch on exactly but yeah it's like oh what a cute baby it's like guys babies aren't cute stop it they're not stop lying to yourself There's a reason why we all get dogs first. Because <laughs> they're adorable. Like, even... Like... <laughs> it's one of those things where, like... Oh, fuck. Fucking mole-ass motherfucker. It's one of those things where, like, uh... Where the hell am I even supposed to be going? I lost my fucking... Oh, oh there we go. It's, like, one of those things where, uh fucking you grow up and you're like man what you grow up and you're like why do people always say babies are cute right and then fucking and then it dawns on you you have like a flashback like a brain blast and you're like wait a minute if people are lying that babies are cute then when i was a kid and they said i looked cute they were lying to me what up what else have you motherfuckers been lying about <laughs> what else you been lying about you've been lying to me my whole entire life You know, making your dog your favorite child out of the children? I might just do that. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Be like, Dad, how come the dog gets to sit at the adult table? Because he's better. By Inspector Box. Carmelita? She's here? Don't worry. Carmelita? Ooh, hot. But I don't know where she's locked. I love how Sly's hat starts glitching out. Speaking about dogs, are you okay over there, buddy? Because you were quiet all day until I press this fucking record button. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now you think about that. You think about what you've done. <laughs> I love Bentley. He's like, just don't get caught again. I don't want to be alone. Carmelita? Man, that is a... Oh, fuck. She has a super flashlight. Man, Carmelita, you are... You are one tall fucking lady. You're like twice my size, Carmelita. Holy shit. Why are you so big? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. I like me. I like me a nice Amazonian woman. She's getting ready with her 360 skills. Oh! <laughs> did I just... Did I just witness police brutality? What just happened? <laughs> she just shot that guy out of nowhere! <laughs> Stop! Leap! Oh my god. Every time she gets further from me, I'm scared she's gonna, like, turn around on me. She's, like, really close to my hideout. Like, Bentley and Murray are literally through that door. Alright, good. Oh my god, can you stop getting so fucking far away from me? Oh, 
Oh wait, I'm tailing her, I guess. Right? Oh, follow Carmen. I thought I had to steal something from her. Alright. Well, if I'm just following her, then okay. By the way, I love how the moose kind of saw me and he shot past her. What if she just went like, what if she just turned around and said, what the fuck were you shooting at? And then she just saw me. You know, in some alternate universe, along with Carmelita, Swiper the Fox is also a policeman. Also an investigator. Where the fuck did she go? She just went like a whole... She just did mad work for no- Oh! Fucking moose! You bastard! <laughs> Where are you going, Carmelita? What are you doing? Hey, criminal! You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Murray, what the fuck happened? Murray? I walked out for two seconds. I come to break you out. Bad chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on. She's carrying all the keys. Why he say it like that? She's tough, Sly. <laughs> His swiper is a police officer, then what? He's swiping. He's swiping justice. Leave her to me. Swiping justice. What the fuck? Why did you guys spawn on top of me? What the hell? I'm gonna steal your shit now. Oh, never mind. I can't even steal your shit because Carmelita's coming back. And I gotta sneeze. <laughs> oh, fuck. God damn it. Police swiper leaves questions that need to be answered. Look at her going on a fucking rampage, just killing everybody. What? I, what's going on? Excuse me? What the fuck am I looking at? She just took a bullet like a champ. What? I have no idea. Oh my god! Yoink. Power box key. Ah! Oh shit! I love you, Carmelita! Don't kill me! Oh, she's in hot pursuit. You see nothing. And I see everything. I don't know where you went, but I know where you're going. Jail. I love how she sounds like more Oh, I thought she was turning around on me. She's just she's just shooting the moment. But I love how I stole from her and she sounded like annoyed. She said, what? Cooper! <laughs> She's like, Cooper? Come on! She's like, come on, jackass. What are you doing? You can't catch me, Carmelita. I'll take the A train. Yeah! See you later, bitch. Am I falling off the train? Ah! Didn't expect that. Nowhere to hide. Basil Bear, I'm gonna take this bottle. It's mine now. You see nothing! I need some health. I need to go. I need to go commit murder. I'll be right back. <laughs>
I'll be right back, Carmelita. I gotta go murder a guy. Exorb their life essence. Ooh, sapphire. Hah! Into the void with you. Your family will never hear from you again. I really need some health. I'm like really hurting for health right now, actually. Turn around, guy. There you go. Actually, what wants what's in here? Oh, a nugget. Thank you. There you go. That should be that should be enough to get the job done, All right? Wow, that was convenient. It made it look like, is he Santa Claus? He went down the chimney. Oh, what's in your pockets? Is that a sapphire in your pocket? He's just happy to see me. Oh, I thought she was about to get hit by that fucking train. Oh my god, I would have start laughing. I just want to get a little bit more health. Ooh, gold bar. Thank you. Oh, both of you are over here? God damn it. Where's Carmelita? Give me health. There you go. That's all I wanted. Now we're good. Now I feel safe. Where the fuck? Carmelita? Oh, there she is. Thank you, ma'am. It's my keys now. Excuse me, coming through. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh shit. Oh, oh sh <laughs> I do not like this. Come on, really? That's what did it? That's what made me fall into the water? Right there? Oh shit. Alright, Murray. We're here to get you out. Thanks, pal. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Yeah. That's weird. See you back at the safe house. I do kind of like how Carmelita, like, she's doing her job, but you can see that she's a little hesitant. Like, she's taking care of Murray. That was nice. She's not completely. I mean, she was taking care of him. He's like, Carmelita, I'm kind of hungry. Can you feed me? She must never know the truth that my passion for her burns with the heat of a thousand suns. Oh, that murderous woman, how I love her so much. Where's the other one? Spice in the sky. You mean like, what kind of spice are we talking about? Are we talking about Spice Girls? Sweet Spice? Scary Spice? Why does everybody have a fucking sapphire in their pocket? 
Like, if y'all just walking around with sapphires in your pocket and shit, like, you might just, you just, you just might want to retire, right? Y'all getting paid in sapphires? Alright, so is it on top of the mountain? No. It's over here. Come on, Mole Man. What the fuck? Are you are you okay? Are you gonna come out the? All right. All right. I mean, it's your choice. I can't. Okay. I hear a bottle. Where is it? I'm hearing a bottle, and I can't just leave that be. Oh, it's up there. Oh, wait, can I grab this? Come on, Sly. Come on, Sly, you can do it. Alright. Now, where is my destination? It's right below me? Oh. to get up there to collect the spice gas. Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on it. Commandeer? We're thieves. What the fuck you mean commandeer? We stole it. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you pop the balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Sea nature spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I What if the spice the gas is old spice? If it was old spice, then it wouldn't be gas. Well, yeah. does old spice make like clones and shit? I don't think so. Remember, use your fucking paraglider, Murray. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, I overshot it! What the hell? Oh no! Damn it! Damn it. Murray, I gotta do it again. You fucked up. Fuck you, use your paraglider. The spice gas is lighter than air. Popping balloons should keep you aloft. A little too high. I'm really trying not to fuck this up. Shit. I can do this. I got it. I got it. Oh my god, Carmelita, no. Huh! Hi, Carmelita. Bye, Carmelita. This is fucking ridiculous. Is that oh! <laughs> no! Talk about bad luck. Bad timing. Maybe the body spray? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. They do have body spray. I almost went through there. Alright, where the hell is Murray? All the way over there. I'm on my way, Murray.
I have no idea what happened to that duck. Oh shit. I should have opened my paraglider earlier. Trying, there's one right below me, Bentley. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, I got this. Just trying to find a. Oh! Oh! There we go. There we go. Nice and gentle. Where you at, Murray? You're this way? There we go. What's with this fucking duck over here? You keep... keep coming back. Thanks for the advice, Murray. Try not to crash the plane. There we go. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. So fucking far away. Turn around, Sly. Turn around. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Wait, no, I got. Wait. What? No, it's the wrong train! <laughs> no! Damn it. Is the which which train is the right one? You're full up on gas. Oh, there it is. The okay. Coast. I'll target your last. Co oh my god! Did it just go under fucking? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was like, did it just go underground? What the hell? Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. Bullshit. I was on it. That should account. You know it. I did it with style. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I fucked this up. Damn it. Why is it so hard to turn this damn thing? Fuck. It's not even that hard of a mission, it's just... You can't make, like, a sharp turn on the paraglider. There we go. Alright, I got it this time. If I can find the damn thing. I'm 
trying to make it so I don't hit the fucking railing in front of me. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Come on. And it only cost me my arms and my legs, Bentley, but I'm glad to do it. Sly was never the same after he blew up for the 50th time. Oh. Bentley has a mission. Fucking mole men. Why are there coins here? I think this is the sign of a Carmelita killing. I'm hearing bottles. I want them. Where are they? Can I make that jump? Ten more left. I'll make sure to grab them before we leave the area. Actually, you know what? While we're here, Bentley starts selling shit. Alright, not bad. I would like to get him that hover pack. Alright, Bentley, where are we going? Ride the iron horse. Got it. I gotta get up there? Oh shit. Uh oh. That's gonna be a little difficult. How the fuck am I gonna get over there? I can't even make that jump from here. Damn it. How the fuck? Oh, I don't have to go up. Alright, I thought it was telling me to go up on the building. I gotta go up there. Oh, well, that's not hard. Hey, Carmelita. Can I? You saw nothing! What if she just, like, jumped up here? <laughs> she didn't even care! What the hell? Terminator. And I'm a turtle, and I'm awfully slow. Wait, where the fuck am I going? Oh. Gotta jump on the, on the last one. Who just got shot? Alright. Doing this shit Mission Impossible style. Bentley impossible. What the fuck? Ow! <laughs> Damn it! Oh. Ugh. Good job, Bentley. Oh, that's a giant fucking bird. Here's a present for you, and one for you. You get the back of my fucking hand. I want that money. Those Canadian bucks. Canadian bucks? They're coins. What am I saying? Hey, no sleeping on a job. Stop it. Damn it. Here you go. Oh shit.
right there. Right for you. Huh. Oh shit. Damn, Bentley. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I never seen never seen Bentley like this before. This is a Huh. That's interesting. How the fuck do I Surprise, bitches. Oh, come on. There you go. A little present. Any health for me? No? You guys left me with nothing? Jackasses. <laughs> Look how happy he is. So, these are all clockwork parts. Riddle me this: If you're gonna turn yourself into a robot, why would you need a why would you need a robot stomach? Legs are going great. If you're a robot, food doesn't provide you sustenance. Three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse two and three are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse two and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby ham car. Murray, you'll need to go fuck with some bear babies. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. All right, sounds like a plan, Bentley. A plan that I barely listened to. So what are we doing? Got it. Sly's doing nothing. Sly's eating cookies. You're up, Bentley. Go do it. Out of my way. You're nothing to me. Just hear the explosion in the background. Don't even look at it. You know what happened. Where am I going? Am I going up here? Okay. Yeah, I'm going the I'm going the right way or the wrong way? How the fuck? How am I getting up there? Excuse me, sir. Oh shit, I missed. There you go. up with the train? Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna do that. Don't leave without me! I did it! Well, that was easier than, it, than they made it sound. This had better work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops. Good off thing I have to took my RC copter and put a fucking put a goddamn cannon on the back of it. All right, so how do I do it? I should bomb those oh. Missile launchers get ugly. Wait, pop the missile launchers? What the fuck? What? The hell are you talking about, Bentley? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. I was getting like no feedback on it. Oh shit. What 
Listen to this fucking music that's playing. This hero's music. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I don't like- <laughs> I don't like bullet hells. Oh damn it. Makes me nervous. I have no idea why I just shot, but I shot something. Well, that was easy. There we go. Ah, fuck, I got hit. Oh, wow, that did so much goddamn damage. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, I'm afraid. I'm afraid if I, like, die, I'm gonna have to do all this all over again. The final stretch? You sure about that, Bentley? Oh, fucking. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I am not a fan of bullet hells. Get rid of the missiles. Get rid of them. Damn right, you're close. Whew. Helicopters might have glasses on it. I think they do. I think, the, I think the helicopter is made to look just like his face, which is weird. It reminds me of like, uh, <laughs> fucking, what is it? Very Odd Parents. The one where, um, like the special they had where Timmy goes to the internet and he's getting chased by the Dr. Crocker heads. Dr. Crocker, my bad. Mr. Crocker. I got Dr. Crocker, Dr. Crocker. I got Mr. Crocker confused with Dr. Dragon. Oh wait, why am I going towards Sly's fucking objective? What am I doing? Gotta go grab Sly. Well first, let's go do Murray's shit. Bentley doesn't have anything else to do, right? Yeah. Can I hit the bottles with this? Nope. Out of the way. Oh, there's no way for Bentley to get up there, really? Damn it. I'm pretty sure I don't jump high enough to grab those legends. Excuse me? You get the back of my hand. Lead him right to the hideout. <laughs> oh shit. Bastard. All right, Murray, where are you going? This way. Excuse me, coming through. What is the point of this? Oh, this like snowplow thing they have. It's not even a snowplow. What is this shit? Oh shit. I was not paying attention. Oh fuck. Hello guys. The Murray is here to fuck your day up.
Let me start breaking shit. <laughs> I need to get some help. I kind of fucked up there, not gonna lie. There you go. That should be enough health, right? Now, what the hell are we here for, Murray? What are we doing? What was the reason me coming in fucking shit up? I actually don't remember what I'm here for. What am I here for? Why are we here? Just to suffer? Is there like a secret entrance or something in my sp What the fuck? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Was I even supposed to enter? Am I crazy? Am I going insane? What the fuck? Oh, I'm supposed to be up there. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, alright, just take the... Just follow the tracks. Motherfucker! Fucking moment. Don't mind me, Carmelita. I'm just, I'm just going this way. We'll need this ham car to chase down Iron Horse Number Three, but for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscles. So for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. Love of a mother or her child. Uh, or her favorite child. Something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together, so let me get this straight. Fence, First of all, what the fuck is that noise? noise from the should bring their mother I think the game's audio started glitching out. It's been doing that this whole entire playthrough, actually. I don't know why. To smash the fence, no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. <laughs> the audio got stuck on the fucking zoom in, zoom out sound effect. Okay. That was crazy. I forgot what I was even gonna say. I was gonna say something, but I just got distracted by the audio. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna say. So, fucking, let me get this straight. The hippo, right, isn't strong enough for this, but the bear is. I'm not sure if you noticed, but hippos are fucking dangerous as shit. Where's the nearest train? You're going for a ride, buddy. Once the train, once the train gets here, you're fucked. Carmelita, he's your problem now. I'm going over there. Why does Carmelita gotta be in the way? Excuse me, coming through. I'll just take, take that with me. What the fuck is she shooting? Oh, she's shooting the moment. Ah! Just gonna take the bear. I'm throwing you in here, right? This is what I'm doing? I think that's what I'm doing. I'm throwing you in there? Good yeah. Work,
<laughs> chucking the moose at Carmelita. <laughs> I couldn't find a train. I, I couldn't find a train, so I got the... Look how fucking big she is. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a tall-ass woman. Me likey. Hey, I stole your baby. Oh, fuck. Oh, I gotta go the long way. Carmelita? Not now. I'm getting chased by a fucking bear. Hey, look at your baby. Go get him. He's right there. Go get him. Really? 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 Bastard! Go <laughs> get your fucking child! Carmelita! <laughs> Help! Well, that. that happened. Good work, Murray. I'll send you the coordinates to the next bear cub. Oh, I had to get the cub. Oh. I thought one cub was good enough. You gotta get more? You gotta get more children for the fucking bear to care? Really? Obviously, we didn't get its favorite. See, this is what I meant. This is what I was talking about earlier. I said this earlier, right? You gotta get the favorite child. The parents pretend, pretend there's not a favorite, but there's a favorite. <laughs> you got smushed. I did get smushed. By the way, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stro uh, stopping by. I was gonna say stropping. Thanks for stropping by. Where are we going? We're going back to the same location? Apparently one child sacrifice wasn't good enough. She's like, hey, you two, cut it the fuck out. Good job, Ben. Um, I was about to call him Bentley. My bad. Good job, Murray. How many fucking uh, bottles do I got left in this area? Nine. I should look for those. <laughs> All right, Sly. I think Sly. Right, you're up. Right. Yes. Thief on the rails. Thief on the rails. I think there was a bottle up here, right? See, Bentley's not tall enough to grab that ledge, but I think Sly is. Right? Come on, Sly, you can do it. Lion ass motherfucker. Wait, where? Where's the bottle? Oh, here it is. I can't even see the damn thing. Ow! Bitch! Wow, I sent him flying. <laughs> he fucking went. Alright. Onward. I'll give this fucking moose a face worth- face worse than death. After I steal your sapphire, because everybody has a sapphire for some goddamn reason. Into the void with you. They will never find your remains. Why do I keep... There we go. I was looking for a way up. Don't turn around! Also, Bentley, even if I miss the train, it's not that big of a deal, because it goes in circles. The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Sneak your way up there and grab it. 
sneak my way up there. How am I supposed to sneak past? Oh, wait, you're asleep. Oh! Oh, come on! Fucking bottle gave me away! Excuse me? There we go. Ow! I ran straight into that. I'll grab the fucking ladder. Thank you. You should have seen how many missile launchers there were attached to the train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real finesse on my part to deal with the defenders. <laughs> Finless like, I don't mind. If I don't mind saying so myself, I fucking finesse that shit. As you like brushes the dust off his shoulders. They'll never find you. Oh, come on. It's called a silent operation, motherfucker. <laughs> Too bad you don't have the invisible sneak skill from the first game. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot all about that skill. I think I barely used it, to be honest. Oh, look at this. This is trippy. That was fun. I like that. <laughs> that was really fun. This guy had a knight. Look at him. That's the that's the face of a guy who's seen some shit. Damn. How much do you motherfuckers drink? We're in Canada, for fuck's sake. Oh, he's waking up. Well, that was easy. Stolen from right under your nose. What the fuck kind of face are you making, Sly? You know what I missed from the first game? I missed the, uh... Well, besides for the fucking coin magnet, because I love that shit. I missed the, um... The electric roll he had. I like that better than the slide. Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stuff. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new handcar. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook trade robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Okay, Bubsy, I get it. God, there's some things that should never be allowed to happen. Bubsy was one of them. I don't know why it exists, but it was definitely one of the things that shouldn't have. All right, so we have eight bottles left to find. I have an idea as to where one of them might be. Because this is the uh, big operation. Did I check over here? Oh, there's a bottle over there. I see it. I had to use... Wait, what? Kind of funny. had no use for the coins other than PSN trophies. Now coins are... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the use for coins in the first game was to get, like, a horseshoe, right? Because you didn't have a health bar in the first game. But, yeah, by the time you... uh. Like, getting 100 coins was easy, and then there was already, like, a bunch of horseshoes in the first game anyway, so... You're right. There's really no reason for those coins. Well, I mean, once you had a lucky horseshoe, once you collected 100, you'd get an extra life, right? I think that's how it went. I'm hearing a bottle. Thought I heard a bottle. I am hearing a bottle. Where you at? Where you at, my sweet?
Alright. There's nothing over here. I know there's one bottle on, like, the cliff side. Where we were with, uh... When we was hanging out with the Murray. Nope, that was the sound of the train. I thought I heard... Thought I heard another bottle. Fucking piece of shit bear. You were not chasing me. Oh, come on. Cut the shit. Really? Love how the bear flex on me said, And don't you ever come back here no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more. Fuck you. Oh. I heard one. I know there's one up here. I can... F oh, shit. I can find a way to get up there. Okay, there's two over there. Alright. I gotta go the most around possible way for this. There we go. Oh, I had no momentum on that jump. Okay, so that's good. And then... I can beat the train, I can beat the train. Fuck you! Ugh. Styled on a train. There's another bottle here. Where you at? Oh, you're over there. Hit the fucking bottle. There's three left. There's two left. I hear another one. I don't know if it's above or below. I think it might be below? Is it above me? It might be above me. Oh, come on, Sly. What the hell is that? <sighs> Damn it. not above me. It was below me. Okay. Is it like underground or some shit? What the fuck is this bottle? Oh. Here it is. Oh, shit. Alright. One more bottle. Just gotta... Just gotta figure out where the fuck it was at. I'm gonna try all the way out here. Here one. Over here. Oh wait. Hold up. I thought I heard something. 
Motherfucker. Ugh. Trying to listen out, I thought I heard a bottle. I don't. Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. I gotta grab the ledge. Fuck. Excuse me, coming through. Huh. Maybe it's over here somewhere. God, the sound of the train is fucking confusing the shit out of me. Don't mind me. Just looking for bottles. Looking for bottles. I hear it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Really? I missed that? Huh. Oh, come on, Sly. Sly? Oh shit. Now I think the safe was in here? Yeah. What the hell is my prize? Just played The Sims for like four hours? I believe it. You're talking to the guy who fucking likes Harvest Moon and shit. I can never get behind The Sims 4, though. I don't like The Sims 4. I like The Sims 3. Only did the character creation? See, that's the perfect way to play The Sims. I don't know why I'm hesitating to fucking fight these goddamn ducks. What am I doing? I'm gonna have some peeking duck tonight. Oh shit! Ends the fires with you. Get in the fucking fire. I love how you just killed his teammate. That was awesome. Get in! Damn it! Get in the fucking fire. Music box. You've got the music what the? Box move. What does it do? Put people to sleep? Tracks enemies, then yawn. Watch them not off. Okay, so it's a better version of the clock. Got it. Not only that it distracts them, but it also puts them to sleep. That's cool. Wasn't to The Sims 4 until I started watching build videos. Oh, really? I fucked around a little bit with The Sims 4. I made a- I made a cast of characters, right? <laughs> I was playing it with my niece, and I was all like... You know, she was playing The Sims 4, and I was like, fuck it. I'll play some Sims, why not? So then, I tuck- I tuck it, I made like five dudes, right? I think I have- <laughs> I think I have screenshots of it. I made like five dudes, and the plan was to put them all in one house, and they were gonna be like, there's gonna be like five gay dudes in the house. Just hanging out, but like they're all roommates though. You had like the emo one, right? 
You had the sporty guy. You had the fuck boy. You had the nerdy guy. And then you had the guy who was like happy go lucky. And it was five gay guys in a house. <laughs> and they hung out. But we really didn't do much with the characters. We didn't do much with the characters because once we made them, it got to, we got to, uh, to the building the house part, right? But since I don't, since, uh, she had it on the PS4, right? Since she had it on the PS4, I was all like, how the fuck do you control this shit? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, oh my God, we did not just sit here and made a fucking whole cast of characters. And then, and we're not going to use them at all because we don't know how to make a fucking house on the PS4 version. <laughs> I could have sat there and learned how to make a house on the PS4 version, but it was too much work. I was like, nah, maybe one day I'll come back to it. Never came back to it. <laughs> Sounds like a TV show you've seen before. That was the idea. The idea was it was going to be like kind of a sitcom thing. <laughs> they hung out. Well, they did hung out, you know? Right? <laughs> they didn't fuck or anything. One of the characters fucked. Always. At least that was the story. Only way to build is on PC. Especially use cheats. Yeah. Like, she knew the cheats. But I was like, okay, how the fuck do you start placing this shit around here? She's all like, I don't know. And I was like, what do you mean you don't know? It's your game. We've got a train to catch. I'm pretty sure I have it in my screenshot somewhere. Got it. Cool 70s. Work, I was watching that 70s shows recently. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Damn it, Jackie! <laughs> no, no oh, man. Here. We're at a point in time where uh, people aren't going to grow up with that 70s show. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and has my dog claws in the cage along. in the background. It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique ham car at breakneck speed. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. I love how all the characters constantly talk shit to each other. <laughs> you start breaking shit. Destruction incarnate. You okay back there, buddy? I gotta give you something next time. I gotta find something to give him. My my only fear is that once I give him like a towel or a shirt or something, he's gonna get too comfortable and he's probably gonna pee on it or something. And then I'm gonna have to clean his cage out. Oh wait, I have the music box. Did I throw it? What the fuck? I want to use the music box. There you go. Go check that out. What the fucking fuck am I looking at? How the hell? Am I supposed to- Oh! I didn't see this on the side. I was so confused. I was like, what the hell? I'm like a mouse looking for the cheese. Where is it? That was easy. Oh, hell no. I thought he was going to open the door. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. He gave her a specific plank and she can fuck up. Yeah, that's what I do. I give him, like, I don't give him good shirts or anything. I give him, like, maybe an old shirt or something. Because my dog, uh, my dog is one of those dogs where it's like, if I don't have something of yours with me, 100% of the time, I'm gonna start crying. Fucking Neela. Hey, 
Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough. That's very already. sexual, Neela. And I might take you up on that offer. Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance to <laughs> Come in, little friends. <laughs> I've already lodged the RC chopper. She won't know I fucking I love the characters. Long, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. I thought for a moment she's about to say, all right, little asshole. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, she takes a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. Your bullet hell shit. Oh, oh man, I already got hit twice. Like, it seems easy, but trust me, it's stressful. It's very stressful. Oh, fuck. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry, Bentley. We fucked up. We're not making it. We're not making it, Bentley. What the fuck? Instant explosions. This is, oh fuck, oh, oh shit, oh no, oh god. <laughs> what? There's no warning for that. I just have to guess where you're throwing it. Oh, missiles. For fuck's sake, yep, we're dead, we're dead. That was a terrible trade. Oh, now I can see where she's throwing it. I couldn't see it before. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Nope. Nope. Die, Neela. Just die. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. That was some fancy flying. Wow, that sounds really bad. Whatever you say, poodle. Uh, okay, those <laughs> stared at the camera for like <laughs> a good minute there. The little helicopter that could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Fucking bird! Fuck you guys. Go to sleep. Check that out. You got anything good in your pockets? Oh, he does. Wait, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Fuck you. <gasps> I hit the bottle. Thought it would give me away. How do you not see me? Oh! Oh! This makes me feel very uncomfortable. Oh, fuck that noise. Why didn't it trigger the other guy? I love this fucking music box already. Oh, come on. Go to sleep. You're right next to it. Sons wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Well, that's just what we'll do. A well placed bomb down the train's smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, chum. Clockwork 
Oh, come on. Learn to give up, Nila. Become a quitter like me. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, I can hit her with bombs now. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck. That really confused me because I thought the missiles would hit me in that, but they don't. The explosions they leave behind does. Oh, fuck. Yep, you're dead. You're dead, Bentley. The RC's dead. <laughs> I tried, Bentley. I tried. I tried, buddy. I tried. I'm a failure. There we go. Not the Cooper Gang, not Interpol, not anyone. Stand clear. I don't know, I think I stopped you. What? <laughs> this is a suicide run. <laughs> on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. Job complete. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of these guys. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Vassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Sooner or later, we're gonna clear her name. Sooner or later. Arpeggio- wait, oh fuck, I forgot. We don't even fight John Basson. I forgot, yeah, he's just kind of there. We don't even get to fight the dude, he just gets arrested. <laughs> Alright, well, Arpeggio. Oh wait, no, we do get to fight him. What the fuck, then why is Arpeggio- what? Hmm. I'm confused. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go. Both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Sly Cooper and the gang and... Menace from the North. Eh? A little eh at the end of that? Menace from the North, eh? All right, what are we up against, okay. Bentley? So here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blimp is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But 
Before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Bassan. Time is short, and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cave. It can now separate into two smaller caves. Useful for ice climbing. He said, hey Sly, I've been playing this, I've been watching this crazy movie called Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. The dude can take his sword out of his sword. Wait, so I can make it into two games? How do I do that again? How do we do that? I was not paying attention. Still not over how much of a tweet the turtle is. He is a tweet. Motherfucking birds. Bastard. All right. Got one sapphire. What do we have? Hover pack, reduction bomb, beef reflexes, slow time to a crawl. You don't have enough coins to buy this item. Fuck you. How dare you tell me how rich I am. Alright. Recon photos. Got it. Wait, where am I going? I already hear a bottle. I already heard a bottle. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> Bam! Speaking of Final Fantasy, which game would be good to get into if start playing? Hmm. Well, if you want the if you want the real answer, like newbies, newbies, ugh, like a uh, baby's first Final Fantasy. Honestly, uh, if you have uh, well, I'm not. It should still be up, I think. If you have a uh, PlayStation Plus, um. Final Fantasy 7 Remake is free on the PlayStation 4 right now. You know, quote-unquote free if you have PlayStation Plus. Uh, yeah, but Final Fantasy 7 Remake is a really good starting point. Not just because it's Final Fantasy 7. And Final Fantasy 7 is... Has a huge effect on the gaming industry as a whole. But also... The system in it is just... It's just good. It's way better than Final Fantasy 15 was. Now, that's a good starting point, but in my opinion, in my opinion, I would tell people to play Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy VII first before playing that, just so you can, you know, appreciate the differences, but it's not really necessary, to be honest. It's not necessary if you don't want to. Now, if you do buy Final Fantasy VII, like the remaster of that 8 or 9, right, Final Fantasy VII 8 or uh, Final Fantasy 7, 8, or 9, they have in-game cheats in them, which is like, uh, no random battles, it refills your limit gauge and your fucking health and magic, and then also it has a speed hack in it. So, those remasters are good if you just want to, like, play through the game, right, and not worry too much about it. Um... Final Fantasy X is a really good starting point. That remaster is good too. Mainly because X doesn't have the active time battle system. It has more of a, uh, you know, like, like standard turn base. Like you have enough time to think about what you want to do. But it also, but later parts of Final Fantasy X, it also has uh, the technical shit of like using reflect and stuff like that. Because Final Fantasy... Because you don't really use, like, reflect and protect and shit that much in Final Fantasy 8, 7. I'm not sure about 9. I think 9 you might use it in it. I haven't really played 9 that much. Final Fantasy 4 is also a good start. Like that. They, uh... The version on the PSP for that, that one's pretty good. Um... If you're gonna play Final Fantasy 4 on the DS, that's pretty fucking... That's the most difficult version of the game, I think. Final Fantasy VI is good, and it has a really good story. It probably has one of the best villains in the series. Uh, Kef uh, Kefka, he's pretty good. 
Um, I don't know. You can, if you like MMOs, you can always do Final Fantasy XIV. That's pretty much a love letter to all Final Fantasy, and it's a pretty good ass MMO to begin with. So, and then there's also like spin-offs and shit. If you have a PSP, I guess you can get like if you if you want like an anime arena fighting game that's kind of that's that's good and better than most usual generic anime arena fighter things. Uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia Dual Decim 012. That one's pretty good. How the fuck do I get up there? Like that one's not really a Final Fantasy game; it's a fighting game, but like. It's fun as fuck. <laughs> you play as characters all the way up to Final Fantasy 12? I think Shinodo's in 12, right? Yeah, Final Fantasy 12. 12 is pretty good too. That's a single player game, but it plays like an MMO, kind of. But yeah, there's a lot of good entry points for Final Fantasy. I would say 13 is not a good entry point. A lot of people don't like the 13 games because A, they're not that good, and B, and B, uh, they're just, eh, they're just, uh, unless you're someone who can deal with like a like linear progression, it's kind of, it'll get kind of boring. <laughs> Where the fuck? Where are we going, Sly? What are we doing? Bentley? What you, what you got me doing, buddy? I just ran straight in front of that guy. No regard for safety. Ah, shit. I was hoping I could make it. Oh, fuck. There we go. I'm still getting shot at. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <sighs> Fucking duck, can you go somewhere? I don't even know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Take a picture of that bear. That's not a real bear. That's a fake bear. One of those new high-tech bears. Can I just take a picture of that over from over here? No, I gotta get closer. Okay. Alright, just making sure. The duck is gonna fucking see me. What the fuck just happened? Oh my god! That was goofy. Excuse me? He's coming out the outhouse. Oh, fuck you. I'm gonna die. One of you motherfuckers, give me health, please. Oh my god. What the hell am I supposed to take a picture of? There we go. John B. Sodden's house. The lair of the beast. The dead of evil. The epicenter of ecological destruction. Alright, Billy, I get it. Damn. Write me a book while you're at it. Oh. I gotta take a picture of this place.
Look at that fucking bottle up there. Oh, look at that bottle right there. It's just calling to me. Oh, shit. What? Fucking moose. Wait, can I just get up here? Could I not stand on that? Hmm. What? What the fuck? What was that about? Let's try that again. Alright. What am I taking a picture of over here? Boathouse? Ah, oh, shit. Can I grab the ledge? Bring it on, bastard. I have, like, no health. I have a magic pixel. Oh, come on. I gotta get- I gotta get it in a circle- at a certain angle? That's bullshit. The boat? Wait, what? Oh. Thought I was taking a picture of the fucking cabin. I can make that, right? Motherfucker, are you kidding me? Go to sleep. There's your oh fuck. There's your boat. Fuck you, Bentley. Lighthouse. You mean that lighthouse or Okay. Yeah. I'm doing this shit with like no health. See, Bentley, I did it. I'm just waiting for something like shoot and kill me. What the f fuck is this shit? What am I looking at? I love how the fucking bars just disappear. that thing right there. Shit's going like Speed Racer. Just looking eh, at that's that good enough for me. Makes me dizzy. That's a that's a good way to lock the door. Right. Classic. The is barred from the inside. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Might as well get a shot of him. Say cheese, what if he just started looking my way? Walking like fucking Bigfoot. Sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to 
It's tough being this fucking awesome, he says. Chad Basson. All right, Bentley, what's up? Well, what are we doing? What's your plan? Basson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the clockwork talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to free or we can just steal it like the thieves we are. Guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. That However, sounds pretty dangerous, the Bentley. Of the device is still a mystery. How does one hide within the battery? Information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house. Steal the radio tags off local bears and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. Bentley, I already forgot half of the things you just told me to do, buddy. Good thing I don't have to remember them. Alright, Sly, what do you got? Let's get your missions out the way. Let's see. Murray has RC. I got some laser shit. Bear cave bugging. Let's go fuck with some bears. That sounds like fun. What do you have in your back pocket? Oh, come here. Beautiful sapphire, thank you. go. Looking for Mammoth. Oh, that's adorable. Alright, where the fuck is the, uh, bear bugging? Is that the bear shit? There's a clue up there. I want that clue. How do I get up there? Oh, shit. How do I get up there? I want that clue. Oh, there's another clue down there. It's a free clue. I'll take it. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to grab the hook. I didn't even see it. Damn it! Alright, forget it. Forget about the clue. We'll come back for it later. I'm out here fucking about getting caught like an idiot. Alright, so where's the bear mission? Oh shit. Where's the bear mission? What the fuck? Ow. It says it's over here. I'm just goofing about. That's what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Is that a cave entrance? No, that's not a cave entrance. Where the fuck do I go to start this mission? Oh, on top of there. Okay. I can jump up here, can I? Nope. I gotta do things the fucking difficult way. Let me out. There we go. Excuse me? The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. 
first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. Crawling into a bear cave. What? Are you telling me to go in there? Is it... What? Bentley, are you insane? Oh! It's a crawl spot. I didn't even see that. I was like, Bentley, it's a pile of rocks. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. How the fuck did the receivers get in there anyways? Open your fucking mouth. There you go. And how does a bear not instantly just go like, what the fuck is this shit? Start clawing at its own jaw. Thank you. I'm just here for a dental checkup, that's all. Ooh, I almost stepped right on that bear. Back up slowly. Thank you. Shit. How do I get over there? Is it telling me the climb? Oh. So this doesn't make noise. But the other ice does. Okay. Makes sense. Imagine doing this shit in real life. Exactly. By the way, welcome. Hey, Laws. Welcome. Fuck. There you go. Don't mind me. Hope you're having a good day, man. Good day, good night, good early morning, evening, afternoon, I don't know. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh no. Where's the last bear? Is that the last bear? That's the last bear. Alright, Sly, don't fuck this up for me. There we go. Should be asleep, but you're down for some Sly. That's me, like, with everything I do. I'm like, I should be asleep. But I'm too busy playing video games. Only you can prevent forest fires. Dude, I... How the fuck am I supposed to get that hook? I don't even know... I don't even know if I'm facing the right way. Ah! Get me the fuck out of here. Bitch. Huh. To form a receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Vincent's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. Once you're in position, Bentley, I'll hit your circle button. Yeah, that was a great comeback. I did it. Alright, so where the fuck am I going, Bentley? Oh, I'm going to, like, very specific places. Okay, I thought you meant, like, they would be, like, around the same area. You can be at the end of it, make noise, and have to start over. I know, that's why I was kind of... That's why I sat there for a moment thinking if I should... If I should throw it. I mean, it is a... It's just the sleep clock, so... 
it should have been safe, but you know, <laughs> you know, I felt a little daring, a little daring, not too much daring. I don't want to do the whole mission over again. <laughs> You thought it was the alarm clock? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't have thrown the alarm clock. Go to sleep. I'm just gonna kill you. I was gonna leave them alone, but then I was like, you know, oh, fuck. Well, at least he died. I'm putting it there, right? Okay, cool. Just making sure. There you go. Let's see, so there, there. Oh wait, I already passed one spot. Huh. Mm, son of a bitch. Where am I putting it? Oh, right here. Cool. Didn't even see that. Magic Sky has like 50, 50 clocks on him. You know what's really weird? The pouch that Sly has on him is a fucking, like, gun holster. But you're never gonna see Sly with a goddamn gun. Wait until Sly 5. Where he's, like, in World War II and he's all like, Bentley, I need suppressing fire! And then Murray shows up with a gun. You know what? I love how I said you'll never see Sly with a gun. And even though it's true, you don't see Sly with a gun. You already use, like, fucking miniguns and shit. Interrence. He has a little backpack inside. He does have a backpack in Sly. You know what? I completely forgot he had a backpack in that game. You're right. Oh my fucking god. What the hell, Sly? Am I going the right way? I am going the right way. Just making sure. So how the fuck am I getting up there? Oh wait. Duh, I got the ice pick shit. There we go. Maybe the holster's meant to deceive? Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe it's just... Honestly, I think the holster's just there to add a splash of color to him. <laughs> because other than that, you'll just have like, you know... Your gray, black, and blue, and a little bit of yellow. The red draws draws the eyes to something. Also to, also to make you not think about how he's like just Donald ducking it the whole entire time. Porky pigging it. Got no pants on. Just swinging in the breeze. Oh, I gotta go on top of his house. How the fuck do I get up there? You know what? I was just thinking about that, too. I don't... I'm trying to remember if he does have a holster in Sly, uh, in Sly 3. I'm not sure if he does. I don't think he has a backpack, either. And I'm trying to remember if in Thieves in Time, if he has the holster, too. I don't think he does. If he does, then it's not as bright. It's not as, like, a bright red as it is in this game. Motherfucker. Alright, how the fuck do I get on top of here? What the hell? Do I gotta, like... Go from, like, a higher point? Do I gotta go inside? It looks basically the same in 3? Okay. Looking at these in time. Fucking... Oh, I gotta climb up these. Alright, never mind. I see. Alright. Doing a lot of work for these fucking receivers. Go to sleep. Here we go. 
I'll just try my best not to fuck this up. Because I don't want to have to climb on the way back up here. Oh, that clue bottle. Uh, I'm going for it. Alright. I wasn't sure if I would, like, ruin it. He has a backpack in four. Okay. Oh, yeah, he does have a backpack because that's where his little paraglider comes out of. In the fourth game. In the third game, isn't his paraglider, like, camo or something? Isn't one of the games, like, his paraglider's, like, camouflage colors or some shit? Well, I'm over here. Might as well get this. Maybe in four? Maybe in four. No, in four, his paraglider is more of a, like, parachute-looking thing. I think it might be in three. I think I'm thinking of three, where, like, you have to go and, um... Like, fly around in, uh... What, in Scotland? To get, uh... To get Penelope to join you or whatever? I think that's her name, right? Penelope? Don't quote me on that one. <laughs> Is this not the spot? Where's the spot? Oh wait, no, this is the spot. Oh, here it is. Go down, Sly. Oh, there's a bottle over there. I want it. I want that bottle! Give it to me. Ten more. Ten more to look for. I bet there's like one on the boat. Oh, I'm already hearing another one. Where is it? Is it below me? Is it above me? It's above me. I hear you, bottle. Where are you? Where the hell's that bottle? It's taunting me. God damn it. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's the bottle. Oh shit. Oh no. I tried to jump over it. Stealth. Perfect. Now, where the hell is the other? Oh. Here it is. Nice work. The array's up and running. Alright. What's next for me, Bentley? Oh, I'm already here. Good, because I didn't feel like traveling that far. Where do I start the mission? Sly, I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack game. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser... Oh! Like a sly being political. Global warming. That's a real thing. <laughs> With your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. Alright, so what am I doing, Bentley? <laughs> I was not paying attention to anything you said. Something about going to the other side of the wall or some shit. Where am I going? Over here? Oh. What am I doing? What? 
Whatever. Just gonna free ball it. Can't stop me. Oh shit. They stopped me. Oh my god. Oops. Maybe should have paid attention a little bit more. Alright. Find the switch to control the laser. I'm doing that. I'm doing that poorly timed. What the hell am I doing? What am I doing? Oh. Gotta hold it. Hadoi. For some reason I was treating it like I was just gonna run on top of it. I don't know why. There we go. I didn't know if I could make that jump or not. That's why I hesitated. Alright. Let's see. That should be easy to get across the room. It's not that hard. Excuse me, coming through. Where's the switch? Is that the safe? That's the safe. Where do I go from here? Hmm. Well, I'll figure it out. Attention all you fellas working the sawmill. Make sure you keep a steady watch. The prowler's been oh, over here. We can't not afford to have anything happen to our law cooking equipment. Particularly that laser type saw blade. We're gonna need it once we get to them old oaks up near Lookout Mountain. Yikes. But hey, you know. Oh shit. The ghost lie. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of you. It's safer that way. You've done it. The laser's been redirected out the window. You damn right I did it, Bentley. I'm amazing. So where do I go? I just leave? Where's the ladder? How do I get out of here? Oh. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Yet again, I did not pay attention to a goddamn word they said. Alright, what am I doing? <laughs> something about something? Something about a laser? Oh, I'm just following the laser and putting shit down? Cool. Sounds like a plan. Oh, come on, Sly. Sly? What are you doing? Stop, what the fuck? Circle button, baby. You're kidding me. You see nothing. Go to sleep now. Good little ducky. Now what am I doing? How do I... Oh, I guess I'm going up there. All right, cool. You know, towards the end of slide two, I forget like half of this shit. <laughs> as much as I play this game. That seems dangerous. Oh, come on paraglider. There we go. Here we go. Tuck you in there. Make you nice and safe. Make you feel nice and cozy. I have no fucking health, by the way. So I better not get caught.
Give me health. Damn it. Alright, there you go. Oh, fuck. That was a nice save. It was beautiful. I get no health. How many times do I gotta redirect this fucking beam? Don't you better you better not come jumping out of a fucking house. I was worried about an enemy jumping out of the outhouse. Forgot that I can burn myself on the laser. At least they checkpoint at me. At least they checkpoint at me. Alright. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I was wondering what the hell hit me. I hit the laser again. Hello, good sir. Goodbye. Alright. This laser is getting fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Where the hell is that at? It's back up there. How does nobody notice me doing this shit? Oh, come on, Sly. There we go. Go to sleep. Damn it! Too close to the other guy. There you go. You're free, Mammoth. So much for that. Went straight in the drink. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. All right. I think Murray's next, right? Yep, Murray's next. Not that fucking bottle up there. It's teasing me. Oh, come on, guys. Calm down. It's not that serious. So there's this bottle on this side, and I think there's another one on the other side? I'm trying to... Huh. Nope, I think it was only on that side. Okay. Alright. How many other bottles do we have? We have eight other bottles. I'm gonna have to hunt those down. Maybe not right now. We'll do it before we get the, uh... We'll do it before we, uh, have to do the big heist. I thought I was hearing a bottle. But I wasn't. It was just me losing my sanity. Alright, Bentley. Do I have anything to sell? At all? One sapphire.
All right, Murray. Let's see, where are you going? RC Combat Club. Shouldn't Bentley be doing that since he's the one with the toys? Never saw it coming. <laughs> Never saw it coming. Ever. I don't even think I killed that guy. RC combat since that job was pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. He's like, it was fucking awesome. Oh shit. I can make that jump, right? Hey guys, let me join your club. I want to play RC cars. I think they're pretty cool. If you're making Sly do the work, why the fuck did I have to switch to Murray? Hide in that barrel, Murray. Inconspicuous. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. I mean, isn't it already suspicious that there's a fucking just moose head? Around a bunch of moose. I guess that's what happens when you lose in the RC club. Go to sleep, bitches. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I am gonna steal your shit, though. There's so many fucking saw blades in here that do nothing. Jesus. Oh, come on, Sly. Detected. Not even grinded and killed. Detected. I failed. I gotta do it all over again? Son of a bitch. Just because Sly didn't want to spire his, spire his way. Onto the correct spot. I can make it. There we go. That one I'm gonna wait my turn on. Alright, Sly, don't fuck up. Don't fuck up your spire jump. There we go. Excuse me, coming through. Huh. 
Can I just put you to sleep? There you go. That's easier. Murray, Here you go, Murray. I love how Sly did that all stealthily, and then he goes, Hey, Murray! Catch! Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the Murray? That's not. That's not suspicious at first. Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? He's like, ain't no way I'm gonna lose to a new guy. You. What is this shit? Oh my god. Oh my god, this controls terribly. Oh my god. I mean, it is tank controls, I guess. Fucking shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just blew myself up. That was great. That was amazing. That was fucking fantastic. Oh my fucking god, dude. I can't even pick up the goddamn tokens. Is there a reverse button? Nope. No reverse button. Just the go. Just the go button. I blew myself up. It's amazing. It's like also inverted. It's inverted on top of being inverted, which you may think put it to normal, but it doesn't. Self too sucks. Oh my god. Just picking up as many tokens as I can. They get fucked up. Hmm. Yeah. Why do you have a flamethrower? How come you have flamethrower and I don't? Huh? Cheating? I missed. Got him. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. Well, I guess I can let you know the top secret information. After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now I've constructed a plan that <laughs> he said it became clear. If we want to win, we're fucking more cheating. Difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed. The pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest. 
Grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? What he said, 97%? Has 97% chance of success, and the rest, you'll die. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we each got one mission. Good. Guess I'm breaking into the lighthouse. Oh shit. What's in your pockets? Oh, a ruby. Nice. Beautiful. I'll take it. I hear a bottle. I want it. Where is it? I hear you, bottle. Where are you? Are you below me? Yes, you are. Let's just get you out of the way. Sweet victory. There's probably a bottle over here too, right? I'm hearing another one. Oh, it's right there. We got six more. We'll look for them later. If we come across them, we'll grab them, but we'll look for them later. I love how Sly's hat is just fucking flipping out. Work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. See you on the ground floor. Okay, let's see. So I'm not sneaking in the same, same way, so. How am I sneaking in again? Oh, climbing the sides, got it. Gotcha. There's probably a bottle up here or something. Better not fucking hit me, you better not hit me. That was a close one. Just wait. Nice climbing, Sly. You made it up to the hatch. Of course, there's a bottle all the way up here. Come here. Got five left. Alright. Careful now. Don't have to redo that shit. Get to the bottom of the lighthouse. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, because the battery. That's the battery charging the thing. I can either take the easy way or the hard way. Hmm. Easy way it is. Out of my way, losers.
Sly, why are you moving downward by yourself? I'm not even moving the stick and he's going. Oh shit. I can't even see what I'm doing. Alright. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that northern line of tractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, Bentley using up, a lot down. of big words in front of me. I don't understand you. So what am I doing? Am I defending you guys? Put the switch at the top of the... Oh. Go to the top. They said before it's too late as I spin like... 50 minutes. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Get climbing, oh, shit. We can't keep this thing reversed forever. How the fuck? Yeah, oh, there we go. This is heavier than it looks. Uh oh. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, shit. I fucked this up. Yep, I ruined it. Nice job, me. Good going. That's what I get for not paying attention. Oh, come on, camera. Work with me. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. My timing is all fucked up on that. I'm really f terrible at this. Holy shit. That time wasn't even my fault. Sly, you keep grabbing the wrong thing. Sly, what the hell is your problem, man? Like, I understand half of it is my own fault, right? But Sly's not grabbing the right rope. He's like, nah, I want this one over here. I want this rope all the way over here. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Why am I so bad at this? Get climbing, Sly. We can't keep this Sly thing reversed forever. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, this is heavier than it looks. Alright, hold up. One, two. Okay. Sly, come on, man. What the hell? Fuck you guys. I did it. That was way more difficult than what it needed to be. Oh my god. What the hell? I'm getting the hell out of here.
Bentley and Murray. I gotta make my way all the way back to the hideout just to switch out. And any other... Oh. I was gonna say in any other mission, they automatically switch me out, but I'm kinda happy that they didn't now. Got two bottles. Okay, who's next? Murray, you're up. Get it going. I missed. direction? This way. Got it. Wait, no, that's... Murray, where is your shit? There we go. If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So, you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. Alright, so where's the fi- oh. Oops. I missed it. Try it again, Bentley. Ow, thanks. You had to hit me with it. Hey, Grizzle Face! Over here! Go fuck that thing up. Nice work. You know, if he, Trot old if he likes fish. The next oil main by luring him with fish. If he likes fish. Then why the hell is he attacking it? Bentley, send me some fish. What's going on? There we go. Come here, Grizzle Puss. Still follow me? Oh, I hear a bottle. Hey, where's the oil tank? Over here? Still follow me? Good. Go get that. And while you do that, I'm gonna look for this bottle that I hear. Oops, wrong button. Oh, you can get it. You can get it, Murray. Belly flop that bad boy. All right, where's the fish? We'll forget about the fish for now. Where the fuck is the next oil thing? Oh, all the way over there. Cool. Let's go. Just a little bit more. Oh shit. Did I go too far? I went too far from. Ah, oh, shit. Grizzle face is moving towards your position. Oh, really? <laughs> I just need to throw it at a guard. Is he really just gonna gonna lose it? Lie to me, Sly. I don't see the bear anywhere. Oh shit, never mind. Let's go, Grizzle Face. That 
bear is having the time of its life. Alright. Well, me, big boy. Wait, that was two out of four? How was that two out of four? I'm trying to find a way to go up. Follow me, bear. I hear another fucking bottle. It's taunting me. Go deal with that guard. Where's this fucking bottle that I keep hearing? Oh, I can't even get up there. I need Sly for that. Well, hold up. Oh, that's just a duck. Oh, here's bottle. Listening out because I thought I heard another bottle. I'm not sure if I did or not. This way, Grizzle Man. Come on. Good job, bear buddy. Now come on, let's go. This way. I'm trying to... Wait, is that thing not destroyed? Are you kidding me? Good job, Murray. Alright. That's it for Murray. He has nothing else to do. Nope. Guess we'll switch to Bentley now. You're up, Bentley. Fucking eagle still trying to kill me. There has to be a bottle out here. There's no way that this is just, like, out here for no reason. How am I missing? What the fuck? getting blown up by the bomb. This guy's just fucking immune to the damn thing. Boat hacking. Okay. What do I... Oh, shit. Stop trying to kill me, Eagle. For fuck's sake. going? Finley, where are we going? This way. Eh, it's easier to just wait for the log. I was going to take the other way around, but fuck it. Trust Murray 
police informant. That's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. All right, I hear a fucking... I hear the last bottle near me, right? It's the last bottle. Who the hell are you? Is it below me? It might just be below me. Oh, there it is. Huh. Good thing I don't have to look for it. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days my aim I'm is impeccable. Trying. There we go. Now to hack the steering controls. <sighs> Fucking hacking mini games. Jesus. Just ignore them. Go. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. They're just killing me now. They place mines? And done. Well, that was pretty easy. Nice work hacking. Oh, I gotta hack more. The boat's heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. All right, Sly. Got it. Oh shit. Come on, Sly, grab the damn thing. The hook's in there we go. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Come on, Mary, let's go. Let go grab another fucking boat. Oh shit. Guess I'm going around. This should be a good spot. You can toss me from here, right, Murray? Right, Murray? Right, Murray? Right, Murray? Right, Murray? Fuck. Where the fuck do I gotta be then? Is this not the boat? I thought this was the boat. Where's the boat? Oh, we gotta go up there. Gotta make things extra difficult. I missed. Get him, Murray. Protect me. I'm the guy with glasses. I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. Keep going. Just keep going. Don't stop. Just keep going. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I'm out here getting surrounded. I just run directly into the goddamn mine. 
That shows you how much I'm actually paying attention to this shit. I am a little sleep deprived, not gonna lie. Oh fuck, that's a lot of mines. Second boat down. Here you go, Sly. Oh, can I not aim this damn thing? Oh, there we go. It's inverted for some reason. Oh, come on, Sly. There you go. The second hook's in place. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on empty. All right, Murray. Where's our next destination? Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Let's go. Do we gotta go up there or are we going up or down? I guess I'm heading to that boat over there, right? It can't be the boat. It can't be the boat I'm going towards, can it? I was wondering oh, shit. That guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. Oh. Oh! I didn't even see this here. Well, thank you, Mammoth, buddy. Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. This might take some time. This might take some time. mines down it's ridiculous it's ridiculous Whew. there we go Where you at, Sly? Oh, you're up there. Okay. Alright. Ah, first try. Chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. Oh. Fucking finally. How the hell did I get off this boat? There we go. Just gotta head back to headquarters, switch the slide, grab the uh Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Oh god, I'm stuck, aren't I? I think I got myself stuck. 
Can I get on the front of the boat? Yes, I can. All right. Switch over the sly. Grab that uh safe. Whatever's in the safe. Whatever our new move will be. I don't even remember where the fuck the hideout's at. Good job, Bentley. Good job. Where's that checkpoint me at? Oh, I'm back in here. Good. Exactly what I wanted. I meant to do that on purpose. Fuck off, bear. Bear shouldn't even be worried about me. I thought he was, like, blind. I thought the only thing that mattered was a sense of smell. You lied to me, video game. Oh, I gotta go up through the top. Motherfucker. Fuck off. Oh! They're gonna send me flying. All right. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Lightning spin. Gadzooks, that's a nice one. It's not even a passive. What does it do? I don't even have enough fucking energy to use it. God damn it. I'm to kill myself. Death at the end. Death is the answer. I already got it, right? Okay, cool. What does it do? Wow, that's it? That sucked. That was pretty lame. I gotta get all the way back to the lighthouse. I guess I'm climbing all the way back up. Or, oh, fuck me. There you go. I guess I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up, right? Am I gonna have to deal with the ice shards again, or am I good? Nope. Ice shards are still there. Ice shards are still there.
All right. In order to overcome Jean Bissad in the Lumberjack game, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagle. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagle's protective instincts against Bissad. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close, that old grizzle face will be eating barbecued raccoons for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. Alright. I think we've got enough distance to do this, right? Yeah, it should be enough distance. Maybe see if I can get a little bit more. Go as high as I possibly can. Imagine the amount of fucking upper body strength that Sly has to have to do this shit. Alright, where's the next area? Uh, am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. Am I supposed to fly all the way to the island from here? I don't think that's how- I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, no fucking way. Yeah, that's not happening. What the hell did I miss? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Need to paraglide out to the icebergs using the terminals. To the icebergs. At this point, I'm like half a fucking sleep. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. To the icebergs? What the fuck are you talking about? What? I'm actually kind of confused. Not gonna lie. I see. Okay, so it was this one I had to fly to, I guess. Yep, there we go. Watch I just gotta make sure not to get eaten by eagles. I know they don't look friendly. Try my best here, Bentley. I'm having clockwork flashbacks. And then I steal then I stole their baby. Yeah, it's kind of a reverse of Sly Cooper 1. If you can get that eagle egg back to the safe house, we'll be all set for the lumberjack game. Wait, so am I I might, what? I might get it back. Am I just fucking lighting my way through? What are we doing here? Sly. 
All right. That wasn't as bad as it seemed. I'm getting a little fucking sleepy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little drowsy now. I'm like half awake. Study of the log chopping guide. None of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassad at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Why does it pain you to say that? You're fucking thieves. Chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Bassad up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Bassad from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basad's logs so he has no chance of beating it. <laughs> what? Excuse me, Billy? Ready, Sly will be in charge of greasing Basad's logs. Like what? what? what we're made of. <laughs> I didn't sign up for that, Bentley. Although I'm not opposed to the idea. You know, that's a great that's a great plan, Bentley, but uh I think you forgot about the part that he knows who we are. The fact that we're entering the games just okay, like guys, puts a red flag on it. Those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. I don't want him to recognize you, but we're uh we're we're entering the games. Alright, so am I... Am I just walking up to him? Excuse hey there, buddy. Me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got Are you putting on a fucking the voice? Talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play. So long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh... Just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever going to beat my record, but let them try. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Shit. I'm trying to get it right in the middle. Not bad, hippo. But watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on the sun, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe time. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> Why was I moving so slowly? Uh. A fucking eagle's gonna come and get me. Ah! These fucking juking moves. Look at that. Doing it grandpa style. Oh shit. Do it, Bentley. Come on. Off. Oh, Damn it. Shit. Why are you walking so carefully with the egg? Let's go a little faster, Bentley. Can't lie, it is kind of hilarious though. <laughs> Seeing him waddle the way with the egg. Oh shit. Huh? 
What the fuck? Why is the ice moving like this? There we go. Just a little closer. A little closer. I see how it is. Knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. I can handle it pretty well, actually. Oh shit! I did not. See oh god. And done. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Murray, use those grapples to hook on to be thought. You will need to hook it with all three lines to pull him off the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Nope. Oh. Damn, aiming with this is not... Oh my god. One hook. I keep thinking the ice is water. Oh, he's already up there. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, no, I, I don't got this. Oh, what the fuck? Dude. That is so hard to aim. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. It's so hard to aim it. Now that one counted. Oh, too high. That was perfect. But I don't think I'm gonna get him in time. Yeah, he's already up there. times I've ever had. That's like, you gotta be like perfect with that shit. Oh my god. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Got him. How'd that not kill him? It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten? I see we're tied with only one event to go. But There's some bullshit. You, He's cheating. My best He's cheating with my cheating. The spinning log He's cheating my cheating. It's bullshit. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is what we're doing? Oh f fuck. Scary. Give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. 
John Vassan's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their Ingenious! The when all three judges have changed from ducks to completely different animals, to none will be the wiser. Lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly. But you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ah! Oh fuck you, Judge. Okay, that was a long, that was a long white screen. What the hell? Lure the guards into the cave with your alarm clock gadget. Oh, with my alarm clock. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I thought I had to like steal from them. Come on, duckies. There's a clock over there. Go get it. Into the cave, boy. Into the cave. Into the cave. Oh, fuck, get me. There you go. <laughs> Look at Bentley. Okay, shit. Complicated now for no reason. Oh, you're being extra complicated. Get over here. Oh, my fucking god. No, fuck it. Into the water. I'm not even gonna make it in time. Fuck you. I'll get it this time. Don't worry. Oh, come on. What the? F what is your intention span, man? the hell over here clock is not that far away from you already one-third of the time has passed There you go.
consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Oh my god. Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Whoa. Who? Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bison must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless I put my Minecraft hole. bed and your Minecraft bed together. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch Oh, my shit. Breath. Well, That's not good. Candy britches. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I eat like you, boy. I eat stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You stole all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points. What do you mean by one of my kind? You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a That's wood racist. Chuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bisson. Oh God. I thought he was gonna say prepare yourself, bitch. Okay, Walnut. Get <laughs> bitch son. Smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Oh, it's wet for logs. Square for flames. Flame it. Flame em. That's not the flames. All right. Saws. All right. Okay, that's how that works. All right. Okay. Done. Oh, he takes like so little damage. Now come on in here, boys. Let's get this Mormon. Oh, fuck this. Fire! On it. Sod. Oh, shit. Fire! There you go. Sod. Sod. Yep. I just gotta remember that saw's is triangle. Sizzle his gizzle. <laughs> what? Sizzle his gizzle. <laughs> this is a nice fight. I like this. It's actually entertaining. I completely forgot all about this fight. Dynamite? I don't like that. Dynamite's bad. 
<laughs> Cook them. I love how Sly's just like so casual about it too. Sizzle his gizzle. Done in by some four eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, braids triumph over broad. And a bunch of machinery. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. I like how the guy okay, doesn't even know how to say arpeggio. He's like, oh, Mr. John Bassan, arpeggio's here. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move. Shake a leg. The oh, shit. Where's the blimp? Oh, fuck me. Where's the... Oh. Don't gotta tell me to run. I know how to get the... I know how to move these little legs. These little turtle legs. Oh, I gotta get up there? Oh, never mind. There's a trampoline. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that Jean Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Damn. Whew. All right. This is a great stopping point. <laughs> I am a little, a little loopy. Not gonna lie. Like for a good portion of that, a uh, good portion of that last chapter, I was kind of half asleep. <laughs> uh, clearly I didn't get enough rest before this. But we're gonna stop it here, All right? I believe. I think episode 8 is after the, is actually the last chapter. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's the last chapter. I'll have to look into that. But, so far, everything seems like it's going pretty well. So, next time we come back... Oh my god, my dog is like losing his mind. Next time we come back to Sly Cooper 2, Band of Thieves. I keep calling it Sly Cooper, but it's Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Next time we come back to it... We're going to be heading into the next chapter. 
which is Anatomy of Disaster. Anatomy, well, my bad. Anatomy for Disaster. Autonomy for Disaster. Anatomy. An anatomy. I don't know. I can't read. I'm illiterate. So, next time we come back with Sly, we're going to head off with that, I believe. Uh, you know, we're going to be wrapping up the game and stuff like that. And then, uh, after that, after that, uh, sure, I don't know what I'm going to replace Sly with. We're not going to go straight into Sly 3. But, uh, next stream, it's gonna, we're going back into Conception. It's been a while. So, oh, that reminds me, I have to do some grinding in that game. I totally forgot all about that shit. Alright, well, next stream we're going to be heading to Conception, and then after that, finally we return to the world of Phoenix Wright. So, before I pass out due to lack of sleep, I want to say thank you to everyone who came to watch live. Thank you for those watching the VODs. And for those who are on YouTube, thank you as well. Consider watching it live. Right? I think you'll enjoy it a little bit more. Interact with people and shit like that. That's pretty fun. So, until next time, I want to say thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off.